Here we are at Hollywood and Vine. It's the metro station, Hollywood and Vine metro station. And it's the home of the new W Hotel. And there's robust activity going on around us. I'm leaning here against 50% of the bike parking. Here it is. There's the other half. Meanwhile, we've got half a block set aside for valet parking at a TOD, uh, transit-oriented development, outside of a metro station. How does valet parking get preference? And why is it that bike parking is so isolated that you can't find it? Well, that's because it doesn't exist yet. But that notwithstanding, the fact of the matter is, even when it does exist, it'll be off in a little dark room off to the side of the elevator. Now, they might illuminate the room. It's still isolated. No one can see that room from this public area behind you. There's an area for smoking, there's an area for landscaping, there's an area for cocktails, there's an area for parking on the far side. There just isn't an area for bike parking as it stands right now. And that's what's wrong with this development. I don't care if you put a billion dollars, the CRA, the Metro, the City Council of Los Angeles, and uh, Gatehouse Capital. I don't care who you put in charge of this and how much money you pump into it. If you don't start with a basic commitment to supporting all modes of travel, this is a failure in terms of transit-oriented development.